my fellow vegan bakers. Today I'm going to show you how to make wheat flake muesli. Now, because I'm allergic to oats and actually I like muesli, it was quite um, upsetting to know that I was allergic to oats, but if I eat oats, I get loads of what are like mouth ulcers and goodness knows what else it does, but that is when I know I've eaten oats. So I steer clear of oats as much as I can. So I have devised a wheat flake muesli. It seems to be quite difficult to get hold of wheat flakes, but in England, very often Holland and Barrett will sell them. And if you live in Froome, our local health store up Cheap Street sell wheat flakes as well. But sometimes they can be quite difficult to get hold of. But don't give up. If you can't get them locally, then you might want to try on the internet. So having secured your wheat flakes, these are actually wheat spelt flakes, so they're very good for me, so I'm really pleased with that. Put 500 grams of wheat flakes, which is quite a lot, but this is probably enough for me for about two weeks, because it's only me that eats it, unless my husband runs out of his muesli, and then it must be nice because he pinches it to eat it until he's got the oats. 70 grams of mixed seeds. I mix up my own mixture of different seeds. 70 grams. And then stir that all in together. And then two tablespoons of cinnamon powder. And that gives it a nice sweetness without having to add any refined sugar. Oh, that's lovely. I can smell it. If you don't like cinnamon, I, I do have one friend who really hates cinnamon. You could always try cocoa powder or whatever other flavour you like. And then I'm going to use 65 grams of nibbed nuts, almonds. I didn't know there was such a thing as nibbed almonds. They just look like chopped on, o almonds, to be honest, but maybe they're specially prepared. So 65 um, grams of nibbed almonds. Sometimes I put hazelnuts in. 65 grams of Brazil nuts. Oh, and also in Froome, there's the Denude shop at Bath Street that sells a lot of loose stuff as well. I like to buy loose stuff and put it in my own containers because that saves on plastic waste. And 90 grams of sultanas, or sometimes I put in 90 grams of... Um, chopped up soft dates or cranberries, dried cranberries and blueberries. And there you have it. And then I just put it in a nice jar and store it in my cupboard. And I have half a cup of this every day for my breakfast with half a cup of soya milk. And I chop some fruit up and put some fruit on top. And so there you have it. This is the last lot I made coming to the end, hence making some more. So that's, that's the sort of jar I put in, in case you're interested. Okay, well, thank you very much. Um, I hope you enjoy making this muesli and I hope you enjoy eating it as much as I do. Thank you.